Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I apologise in advance for the lack of videos for the past month. I have been in Goa doing my 300 hour yoga teacher training which was so amazing. But I am back now and you will see a lot more videos on this channel. Today's video is going to be a class for all of my beautiful pregnant ladies out there no matter which stage of your pregnancy you are in, this class is going to be suitable for you. And it's just designed to help you worry a little bit less and trust a little bit more in your bodies. So with that being said, grab your mat, feel free to grab some props, grab a blanket, grab a cushion, anything else you might need and we'll get started. So we're going to get started in our Thunderbolt pose. You can take a block underneath the sitting bones or maybe a blanket underneath the backs as it needs for comfort. And just taking this time to settle the body down into the mat. Allow the palms just to come either side of the belly. As you inhale, draw a nice deep breath, grow long through the spine, reaching out through the crown of the head. And exhale as the eyes float closed. And we start to tune away from the external world, from our surroundings. Connecting to the breath. Connecting to our body accepting the changes happening in your body that are beyond your control. Choosing to become the active observer instead of the passive recipient. And just set that as your intention for this practice this morning go through your practice in loving awareness and complete acceptance and gratitude for your body. For it is a miracle and it is a gift. Take a moment here just to find three more deep breaths. Allowing yourself to arrive on your mind. Arms come together, thumbs to the third eye. I wish you a safe and steady practice with me this morning. And bow the head to the heart. And from here, inhaling as we peel the hands apart and open the chest. Inhale. Exhale to round the spine, fingertips to touch. Chin to chest. Lean 
your inhale. into our first downward facing dog. Take your time here, walk out the dog, move in a way that feels good to your body today. Send the gaze towards the palms, walking the feet forward, finding our rack dog. Nice wide stance, nice bend into the knees, exhale, let the upper body relax and see if you can find some gentle movement here. Hands coming to the shins, inhale, halfway lengthening through the spine, exhale, gentle fold. halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale last time fold. Inhale as you release the arms down and roll all the way up to standing. Head lifting last, hands to heart center, keep the feet nice and wide, hips distance apart. Inhale as the arms reach up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, gentle fold. Inhale, halfway lengthening through the spine. Exhale, step back to plank. Knees down, Chaturanga press up, exhale. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze towards the hands, step those feet forward, hips distance apart. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, gentle fold. Inhale, palms up and round. Exhale, hinge from the hips, gentle fold. Keeping it flowing, inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping back to plank. Knees down, chaturanga. Pressing back up, exhale, downward facing dog. Two more just like that. Send the gaze to the hands, step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, palms together. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, take it back to plank. Down with that chaturanga press up. Inhale to lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one. Send the gaze to the hands, step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway, stepping back to plank, knees down, exhale, a little chatter in the press up. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, three rounds of the breath, gaze to the navel, press weight down through the heels. Leg lifts, three legged dog, keep the hips nice and square, keep pulling that right shoulder down. And we're going to step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Finding lizard pose, let the left knee drop down, release the foot. 
choosing to stay lifted, maybe bringing props underneath the arms, just finding a pose that works for you. Getting deep into the psoas muscle, into the hip flexors. A couple more breaths here. Maybe taking it deeper or choosing to stay on those hands. Pressing the hips back. I'm just going to start to extend in towards that right hamstring. Trying to keep those hips square. Maybe the toes are lifting, lengthening through the spine. Just finding a couple of breaths here. Right, bending back into that right knee. I'm going to bring that right leg round. Exhale back into a Chaturanga press, a little pause here. Inhaling as we lift, tip the toes, exhale back into a down facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog, hips stay nice and square. Left shoulder pull down. Yeah, bringing that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Finding that lizard pose opposite side. And choosing where you want to take this pose. Remembering to always listen to your body. This is your practice. Going nice and gently, not overstretching the body here. You just want to get to the point where you feel that gentle stretch. Forearms making your way back to the palms. As we exhale, start to bring the hips back, extending into that left hamstring, lengthening through the spine, squaring off the hips. Maybe you can pull up those left toes. And gently bending back into that left knee. Bring that left knee to meet the right knee. Exhale, chapter and the press up. Inhale to lift up the toes. Exhale into downward facing dog. Bending the gaze towards the hands. We're gonna set the feet to the outside of the hands. Coming down into our malasana, into our yogic squat. You can choose to take props underneath the sitting bones for support. We're allowing the hips to hover. Growing tall through the spine. And keep smiling and breathing here. A beautiful pose for opening up the hips. If you would like a little challenge just to help strengthen the body a little bit, inhale as the arms lift. And keep it hovering here or holding for five breaths. If this gets too much, hands come back to the heart center or sitting bones to a block. And gently on the next inhale, we're extending all the up hands to the heart center. We're gonna step to the long side of our mat, toes turning out, heels turning in. Exhale as we bend into the knees, let them track the toes. Inhale as the arms extend, finding our goddess squat with extended arms. So inhale, hands are going to come to the heart center, extend the legs. Exhale as we lower. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale and hold. See if the gaze can look up towards the thumbs. Working on that balance, hold for three breaths. Keep 
dropping the legs where they are, hands come back to the heart center. We're gonna come into Skandhasana on the left side. So we're gonna move the left heel. You might wanna widen the stance and sink all the way down. Palms staying at the heart center. They can come down to the mat if they need to. Right toes turning up. See if you can send the gaze over that right shoulder, look towards that right big toe. Beautiful stretch of the hamstrings for the insides of the hips. And keep breathing here. And from here, taking the hands down to the mat as we pivot them round the left foot, the right toes tuck underneath. Inhale as we sweep those arms up, palms together, high lunge. Exhale as the hands come down to the heart center, we're gonna gently lower the right knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale to lower. Inhale to extend. Exhale. off that right foot and coming into warrior three on our left side. Hips nice and square, flex through that right foot. And gently landing back into our high lunge. Inhale, arms extend. Exhale as we open up into our warrior two. Good. Sending that gaze over that front middle finger. Externally rotating the hips and thumbs. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, forearm to thigh, extended side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Maybe the arm coming round the back on this reverse. Inhale. Maybe full extended side angle, keeping that half bind. You can find that full bind if that's in your practice. And then releasing the hands all the way to the mat as we walk the toes in, finding wide leg forward fold. Hands can stay down. Exhale as we allow the crown of the head to drop. Not forcing anything, just allowing gravity to do all of the work here for you. Just enjoying that lengthening through the hamstrings. Hands coming to the hips, little bend into the knees, inhale to lift. Turning the heels in, toes out. Palms at the heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Moving with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale and hold. Trishti towards the thumbs. Three breaths in. And keeping that leg still, hands come to the heart center. Stand us not on the right hand side. Remembering to take the hands down and use those props if you need them. Gaze over that left shoulder. Beautiful, walk those hands around that right foot. Left toes tuck underneath, inhale, high lunge. 
exhale to lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hands to heart center, find warrior three. Take your time. Find that point of balance, find that drishti. A line of energy through the crown of the head, out through the sole of the foot. Gently step back with the left toes. Inhaling back to high lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, forearm to the thigh, extended side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse, option to find a bind around the back. Exhale, full extended side angle. Option to take full bind. Accepting whatever your body is today. Chaturanga arms as you bend the elbows, exhale, crown of the head pulling down. Hands to the hips, little bend into the knees, inhale to lift. Good, walk the feet, hips distance apart. Hands at the heart center, sit back into your chair. Keep the tailbone tucked, keep the heart lifted. Inhale, see if those heels can lift. We really slowly start to lower all the way down into our toe balance. Staying here, keeping that point of focus. Inhaling as the arms lift. Working on that balance, maybe you can start to shift the gaze up towards the thumbs, hold for three breaths. And exhale as the arms open, and gently come down to seated, bringing the right leg in, extending the left leg. You can take a block underneath the knee, depending on how open those hips feel. I'm gonna take Either that left hand can come to the top of the shin, the thigh. Inhale, that right arm comes up and over. For a deeper stretch, forearm comes down. Keeping the arm in line with the ear. Again, not overstretching, just getting to the point where you feel that subtle stretch. Gently lowering the arm down, inhale to lift. Changing sides. Exhale to lower into that side stretch. Keep your awareness through the side of the body where you feel this pose. Wide, look forward, fold. So struggling 
both of the legs and this is where you might want to use your cushion or your blocks you can bring the forearms to rest maybe the forehead a nice restorative pose here going to draw the knees up towards the ceiling folding from the hips keeping a nice straight spine let the eyes float closed let the awareness stay inwards, thinking of nothing but the body and the flow of breath. Find three more deep breaths here, in and out of the belly. through the spine. Let the legs come nice and gently together. I'm going to find Shavasana on our left hand side. And if you would like to, you can take a cushion just between the insides of the legs. And coming down in a way that feels comfortable to you, however you want to lie. And just allowing the eyes to float closed. Allowing the body to settle. Just coming back to that intention to be the active observer of the body, not the judger, just the observer. Residing in deep gratitude for the miracle that your body is going through. Truly give your body the awareness and the love that it deserves. Thank you for taking the time to practice with me today. <laughs> 